uh, Angela, I've seen previous interviews, and I've with the police, and uh, I'm one of our colleagues talked to you once upon a time. Uh, you're very upfront, pretty much, about talking about this killing. Right. You you murdered this man. Yes. You tortured him. Of course. There is no ambiguity, and there is nothing you want us. Yeah, in court today, you said uh, you're not here to pretend to be remorseful. Of course not. Why would I do that? Are you remorseful? Not at all. Why? Why would I be? Well, I, wh why, why did this man deserve to die? You, you, you claimed he was a snitch. Well, what proof do you have of that? He told me he was a snitch. He told you. On many occasions. But that really doesn't matter. Why did you guys want to kill me? Phoenix wanted to kill me. What's the difference? Everybody has a reason to kill. My reason might not be good to you, but your reason wasn't good to me. So. Um, the incident, can you tell me anything about what happened during those three days while you were... Dead? What do you mean? I know. Uh, I like took him to my house, walked him down the street. I don't know why the media acts like the motherfucker couldn't walk. He walked very well. Walked him upstairs, kicked his ass, and killed him. And, and again, you, the, your belief is that he was a snitch because he right. told you... Uh, you claimed that uh, that other people had been killed in that same part. You had killed other people. Have you killed other no, people? No, I've never killed anyone else. So that was something to talk. Right. Uh, how do you feel about uh, spending the rest of your life in prison? You know, I got a lot of family in prison, and uh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I got many sisters in prison. I can't wait to see them. It's really not that much of a punishment to be sentenced to spend my life with my family. Uh, and you, you, you don't want to talk about your, your past, but your lawyer said that, you know what, they, in, in sentencing you, the judge should bear in mind that you had a really, you had a really right. tough life. I started being hospitalized at 10 years old. I have a mental history from 10 years old until yeah. present, so, yeah. When you say mental history, I mean... Do you care that anyone feels sorry for you? Do you want anybody? Feel sorry for me. Yeah. Do you, should, should the people who are watching this say because she had a bad childhood? Of course not. Because she had as mental illness? Of course not, no. That we should feel some sympathy for no. you? No. You would not have that? I want no sympathy, no. What, then, then do you care what anybody thinks about no. Angela Simpson and what no. you have done? No, I don't. It's, a, again, your candor at... I've interviewed people who have committed murders before, and usually they sort of prevaricate or they uh, this or that. You're about as direct as it gets. Right. Why is that? It's only fair. I expect you to be the same way. Okay. Uh, do you think that it was fair today? It was justice in that courtroom? No, I don't. Why? I should have gotten the death penalty. Do you... Did you want the death penalty? No, no. I prefer to spend my life with my sisters, but uh, yeah, I do believe that would have been justice. So you deserve death penalty, but you're glad that you got what you got right. because you. Right. Right. Uh, when you say your sisters, you're talking about women you know in prison. Right. Okay. And is, uh, have you found that uh, uh, that there is some bonding and that you have made friends here that uh, that will be of some comfort to you when you're in Most prison? Most definitely, yes. Most definitely, yes. Yeah. What has the experience been like here uh, in this facility? Horrible. Really? Yes, it's terrible. Jail is awful. They don't, um, they have no, well, they, they have no compassion. They don't give us the things we need here. Will be, will prison to you, to the your understanding? I have certainly hope so, yes. Yeah. Have you done time in prison? No. You're hoping that it will be a better existence. Yes, for you, yeah? definitely. You're a young woman, 36 years old. You could be there a long time. Right. Right. But your belief is that you deserve the death penalty. Definitely. Well, I believe God. That's what God says. Unless God is wrong, which I doubt. So. And would, would God would, has told you that, or you just believe that? I believe eye that. For an eye. Right. Right. I expected to die for this. Uh, to, what can you? What, what insights can you give us to to you? Uh, what would you have the anyone who may hear this interview know about you? There's really nothing. People are going to believe what they want to believe. Judge the way they want to judge, just like I do. So, yeah. So be it. What? Why did you feel like you were in a position to be the judge and jury in in 
Terry Neely's life? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm really not trying to be to, to get right. you angry, but I just I want to see. You, you're very, you say, I killed this guy. He deserved right. to die, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's pretty, it's there. You're up right. front. Uh, I want to know uh, if, if uh, you have any concerns about what, you know, what, what put you in that position to do that to them. Yeah. It was just too much. The things he talked about, it was just, it was too much. Do you believe him? I mean, lots of people go around well, claiming I'm a snitch or make themselves... <laughs> really, you don't say. Well, I, I think they, they <laughs> talk about law... I've got, uh, I know people come to me, I've got associations with law enforcement. You know, I, I've got this, I'm, I'm, I'm a friend with this Do person. you happen to have a list of those people? They name drop, well, maybe in the circle, but you right. know what I'm saying. Right. People say lots of things to make themselves sort of look... Well, he picked the wrong nigger to say that to if he wanted to brag about putting so many people in prison. Uh, you picked the wrong person. And so. that's, what, that's what did it to him. That's, what, that's why you... What, the bragging? The bragging oh, yeah. about putting people in prison. Right. People you knew? No. No, but I don't know any of them. Okay. Do you believe him? Do you think he really was a snitch? <laughs> Oops, if he wasn't. Yes, I, I believe he was. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, uh, do you have family? I do. From an adopted family or I have four bio? children. You have four children. I do have four children. Where are they? El Mirage. What is uh, how are they doing? Uh, and uh, how is it for you to be separated from them? I, I don't want to talk about my children. I can't do that. Yeah. Is there is there a message? Or what, is there a bottom line or a lesson to be learned from the story of Angela Simpson? There's a bottom line to everything. But what, would, what is the bottom line to I, this story? Whatever people want it to be. If I, it, it, it doesn't what matter do what I say. <laughs> I don't know. In, insights uh, that you, you don't regret killing this guy. I don't regret killing him, no. I regret the fact that my co-defendants found it necessary to uh, divulge so much information to the detectives. I regret that. They were people I really cared about. And uh, I regret that they were near me or around me at any point. And then helped prosecutors. Helped the prosecution, correct. You were and they those people. Definitely, because they didn't know. They weren't actually with me during any of my crimes. So for them to say that they were to try to get lesser sentences was a little heartbreaking for me. So friends of yours lied to prosecutors and lied to police. Correct. Dropped the dime on you. Correct. They snitched on you. Correct. If you could, would you do to them what uh, you did no, to Terry? No, I would not. Because you would still have some relationship with them? or Well, no, but they were, I had a claimed a bond with them at one point, so I, I wouldn't be able to avenge that. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you act completely alone? In that yes, part? definitely. So nobody else helped? No. Totally alone. Uh, help me understand. Uh, for three, uh, you know, I, I know the, the crimes of passion or something, and, you know, in, in the heat of the moment, uh, but to spend three days driving nails into a guy's head and pulling his teeth out. Right. Why? found it necessary. Did you find it pleasurable or exciting or was there was this just, just a just necessary. Necessary. Right. So this was more like a business like uh, proposition. You were doing something that you felt need a job that needed to be done. Right. Really? Right. And whatever came into your head, I'm going to drive a nail into his head. Or was this just was uh, a, a symptom of what was at hand in that apartment? Right. Yeah. Right. Any, uh, your moment. I, I'd like to, because we've got to get run back, and right. I, I want to get what you say on television. And we again, I'm grateful that you would be willing to talk to us, and I, I wish you the best under these Thank circumstances. You. What, uh, what would you have the world know? You're a fascin You're sort of an interesting character, because uh, you know, first of all, women generally don't commit crimes this heinous. Right. 
uh, you know, this is usually the domain of men. That's unfortunate. <laughs> you think more women? Oh yeah, equal opportunity, definitely. And I know you're being sort of a smart aleck to Slightly me. sarcastic. But, yeah, uh, but seriously, I, I mean, in, in some ways, uh, I've been covering murder and mayhem and covered serial killers to petty shoot 'em ups And uh, you don't meet many women who commit the kind of uh, calculated, long-term murder that you committed with this guy. Uh, and s you don't meet many people who are willing to say, I did it, and you know what? Deal with it. Right. The way it should be, in my opinion. Are you? But you seem so. You, you, you seem like you're sort of just. I, I, I'm sort of almost self-righteous about. I, I did this, and I did. Do you think you did the right thing of by course. killing this guy? Definitely. Other than shooting his mouth off, what else did he do? That you know of? That's not. That's what he. That's what he got done for. Shoot He's white him. trash. Somebody had to take it out. That's it. Was there a racial component to it? Oh, there's always a racial component. Okay. And what do you mean by that? I'm not going to elaborate on that at all. Okay. But, <laughs> but the, the fact that you're, you're uh, a black woman and he's a white guy, that factored into your killing him? Yeah. I wouldn't kill another black individual. Okay. Would you, if you had that moment to live over again? I'd have kept him alive a week. But you would have still tortured him and killed him. Oh, I'd have tortured him for a week, yeah, instead of three days, definitely. So your only regret is that the torture didn't go on any longer. Right, and I regret not killing my other victim. I should have killed him, too. I just didn't have time. I had to go somewhere. And so. tell me who that other victim was. Joseph Van Tress for the armed robbery. Yeah. I should have killed him, but I had to go. Will you kill again? If the opportunity arises, I hope so. Okay, let's, we're done. Are you done? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Angela. Good shit, dude. That's going to be crazy, isn't it? <laughs> That's going to be wicked. Make it look good, please. Oh, you're, you're going to put this on, too? That's going to look good. Let's open the ending on. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Best wishes to you. And, uh, right. right. Ladies, thank you. Thank you. Very real. I can't. I can honestly can't. Tell me again. This guy is incorrigible. Huh? Okay. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> in, I'm incorrigible. Right, that's not you. He's incorrigible. We're both incorrigible. Right. Best wishes to you. Right, right. Thank okay, you. Let me chat with him. Um, I have that. Oh, yeah. All right. Well.